Uh. Hi, my name is Vitamin D10, and welcome back to some golden time. I once again have nothing important to say. Let's just get straight into this. The last day of second term. Okay. We were given our report cards. Sam. さん、成績表は行き渡りましたか成績については何も言いませんが、では2学期の授業を終わります。あら草木さんは ?3000、コーヒー牛乳買いに行ってました。わあ、she's fast。放課後まで待ってください。では皆さん、これで2学期を終わります。Wow, class was dismissed. Rena gingerly placed some coffee milk in front of me. That's a great excuse. Don't try so hard to control me. This was seriously making me feel like bawling. Everyone gathered together. It doesn't matter. I'll take supplementary lessons. Supplementary lessons to make up for it. Forget about being bored. Not bored. No. There were a lot of things I could do, like space out or think about stuff. Since Sylvia was in the seat ahead of me, I could stare at the back of her neck, which led to a lot of internal debates over whether golden hair or black hair were better while sharing drinks. That was my recent fad, anyway. Wait. The music is still loud as heck. If it's too quiet, please let me know. If it's too loud, also please let me know. If it's fine, also let me know. Please. Oh my god, no, I don't want to close the game. That's such a dumb thing to have there. Alright, whatever. Oh my god, not the blame game. Ugh. Crap, judging by the face she was making, I'd say she was feeling guilty. I personally didn't care, so I wish he'd just let it go. Elisan was going on about something or other that sounded like a huge pain, too. Will do. You be quiet. I'll manage, so you don't need to worry so much about me, Sylvie. I've really enjoyed my time here, too. I know it doesn't show on my report card, but that's not really... I opened up the report card with less than desirable results inside. And when I did... Ah. Uh, the worst person possible saw what was in it. Don't not out at me. Get out of here. They don't... Fuck. この状況を偶然見えちゃったとも分からないおばかさんなら謝罪いたしますとおばかさんは良くない言葉だったでしょうか Blah. I was suddenly pulled into a game of tit for tat with this awful woman. You already know what I'm about to say about it. So, I'm just keep going. まあ、だからどうとは申しませんが Okay. Okay. Your nose ever get itchy that you start? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> she left with some elated laughter. I wasn't even competing yet. I wasn't even competing yet wound up losing to her in the landslide. 
Nurse, nurse, nurse. What? What does that even mean? <laughs> Reina! <laughs> Healing! Go, go, go. <gasps> I recovered my eroded mental fortitude. That was a close one. Just a little longer and I would have either snapped or cried. I like the first option better. The first time I've ever been provoked to hit a woman. This funny little quip of Sobeys would have frustrated me if I was still as emotionally splendid as earlier, but I can accept it as cute airheadedness with how I feel now. That's true. That's clearly not worry, Sobe. あれで心配はね。住んでるにしてもせめすぎ。でもほら、あやかってオールにとっては小さい頃からのお友達でさ。日本語でなんて言うんだったかしら。幼馴染？はい。そうなのですか、オールくん。It's news to me. Huh? How? She was? Um. Hmm? Now that she mentioned it, a memory of sorts came to mind. It just popped into my mind, but it couldn't possibly be true. オーロトってことは、シルビーともな。私は接点はあるのだけど、ギリギリ会ったことはないそうだわ。10年前にね、私が参加するはずだったキャンプに彼女も参加予定だったんですって。Huh. A whole ton of people attended that camp, you know? It was a random collection of people from the neighborhood association, so there was no way everyone would know each other, especially considering how long ago it was. My memories of Sylvie were vague, so it was even worse for some indistinct Japanese person. You have piqued my interest, though. Since that woman would have to cut the nastiness short if Sobe were there. No. Ha ha ha. I doubted it. It was apparent to me now that we had something in common and I couldn't help but be curious. But... Regardless of what happened in the past, getting along with her now was impossible. Or was it? Who? You aren't sure either? After school, I stuck around until sunset and asked Ryo about it. She was on decently good terms with Jogasaki. That camp 10 years ago was essentially spearheaded by the neighborhood association. I heard the association had held the camp as a social get together for terminal pediatric patients in nearby hospitals. But then I was sure there were some grown up politics behind their charitable work we children wouldn't have even begun to know about. It was because of that political circus that I, Chicken Nugget, Torio, Torio, and our other friends came together from the Neighborhood Association. <laughs> Rio took part as a terminal pediatric patient from the hospital. While all of this was going on, Sylvie so participated as a guest from Sordolids, in part as a consolation visit for the ill patient. And so, Jogasaki came from the Neighborhood Association side, meaning she'd gotten involved from the same standpoint as we had. Oh, that's right. We cleaned up the campsite and made dinner, then a whole bunch of people showed up. Oh, the Neighborhood Association assembled and got everything ready first, and then Ria and Sylvie were welcomed in. Then. Jogasaki was there on that first day, but went straight home. Is that how it played out? Hmm. If it was the first day, I was sure that left even less of an impression. 
We just so happen to be in the same neighborhood association. We may have met outside of camp at some sort of different time. I cannot read. Of camp at some different time, but I couldn't recall. Not surprising since it was a decade back. This makes me wonder. Maybe I could ask her real quick? Good luck, friend. Uh huh. Yeah? Oh, it was her! That's right! Wait, it was right. Uh, let's see. <laughs> I want to see Ayaka with swirly glasses. That'd be funny. It had been midsummer back then. I came to camp expecting it to be a fun event, but wound up being forced to clean smack dab in the middle of it. I do remember playing in the water at some point, though. Knocking someone in the water? Something told me I... Did put someone in a Nelson hold and splashed them together. I did that to Torio and Takato all the time. Girls too, like chicken and... Mm -hmm. uh, I did remember doing it to someone. Oh, that's sucks. Ooh. This kind of gave me an awful hunch. Wait, oh. what was it about? Scary. That wasn't an ideal middle schoolers would come up with. I wanted to talk to her about this, but. I'd have to give serious thought to how I was going to approach the situation now. <sighs> Same. Rio finished smoking her cigarette. Why must you hurt me? Jogosaki hadn't exactly been an enter entertaining topic, but she switched an even less amusing subject. How about you? Pretty sure as far as classes go. Wow, it must be nice. Thanks to your talents and your illness, you mean. Uh, she was tough. Well, it'd be hard to find many people more talented than Maria. Bishop. Like a vacation house deep in the woods, right? The dorm was full of polite, rich girls and completely detached from the complicated outside world. There weren't any rambunction, 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 rambunction troublemakers calling around at night either. Beating off the black haired women. I don't make tons of noise or anything, do I? Huh? Seems like he's forgot. Uh. Mm -hmm. Although I'll do hear women's moans sometimes. Oh, uh, I am being careful, but it gets your ears sweaty if you wear headphones for too long. Sounds... Sound was leaking through that frequently? The root ended right then and there. After coming to her senses to fight off the orcs, I had one of those Our battle is just beginning endings. I wish for games like that since it's just there to suit people's needs. Well, ones with heaps of battle scenes where they regain their safe, peaceful everyday lives, but then it ends with the heroine still feeling an ache in her body. I like this type of games too. Word. It's the spice of life. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> Something told me that the topic had veered off course from the Jogasaki incident awfully quickly. But I've forgotten what had sparked it. Not like it really mattered now anyway. Not really something to worry about. Nope, not at all. 
absolutely zero reason for concern. Okay, okay. Oh, gosh. Eek. Or maybe there was. When I got home, I left my report card sitting out on my desk, and Minachan happened to see it. Get off. Um, on an A, B, C, D skill system divided from the top, we were evaluated on a four step scale, the majority of which was based on studies and the remainder on how hard we worked in private on our expert plans. As long as you were left with positive results on your studies and expert planning courses, you received an A. If you were successful in one or the other, a B. If not, a C. And finally, students with exceptionally poor results and both got a D. I was a D. But you stayed by choice, Mina. Right. Right. Sounds about right. That's right. It was nothing new for Minachan to be strict, but she'd blown her lid worse than usual. Worse than usual? I don't know about that. It's worse when she pulls out the whip. I guess I had it coming. After all, it wasn't that I couldn't, it was that I didn't. Wow, so you gotta be bad, bad to get a D. Hucky. What is that? Well, no, I haven't. I wouldn't skip class no matter how mentally beaten down I got. Oh my Even at our school, we did get assignments sometimes. We weren't elementary schoolers though, so our homeroom teacher didn't just go, Here, take these, when it was time to leave. He would just say to study each subject by next session. I didn't mean to slack off. It was a huge pain and there wasn't any submission system, so I just didn't do it. You figured that out? Oh, you little smart cookie. I need ambition sometimes. Minachan was twitching in place. Run. Crap. In sincerity was what Minachan hated most. She especially considered people who didn't do something they were fully capable of. Sure are. Mount Mina. Mountain Mina had finally erupted. It's Oro. Calm down, please. Hear me out first. Minachan had never full blown snapped before. I had to come up with an excuse. I have a reason I couldn't do it. I didn't skip the assignment because I wanted to. There's a reason I didn't do them. Because it was a pain. Added fuel to the fire, huh? It's Oro. She's such an entertaining character. I like her. <laughs> yeah, you have. I did understand upper class etiquette and the like to an extent. Right. Um, some? Um, uh, is this it? Oh, where'd it go? I'm sure I'd received handouts summarizing my assignments. No, 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 wait, wait. Reina! 
Hey, Reyna. Oi, hi. Bail me out with such and such. Oi, hi. What are you doing? I borrowed them. She finally relaxed. That's great. Yes. That's fast. Sylvia and Ellison, they were in the finished or extended vacation homework before break starts. Faction? Then again, Noble Academy was an elite school that did respect its students' autonomy when it came to studying at home. So they didn't have actually assigned that much. They didn't actually assign that much. I was sure I could do it if I had half a mind. Assuming you're one of the smart ones, that is. That was out of the question for someone like me with such poor academic abilities that I didn't even understand their questions very well. Uh, I wonder. I guess I was going to divvy it up at random over my vacation and do it when I could. That was likely to land me back into a corner the last day of break after ultimately leaving it all until the very end though. That is too real. That is too relatable. Or maybe I wouldn't even do it at all. Again, Noble Academy was an elite school and they wouldn't say much to you if you didn't return your homework in. It seemingly wasn't their style. So, the goal is to get it done appropriately by the end of the year. Um... <laughs> she read the first half of my mind. And I bet she hadn't read the latter half that I wouldn't do it at all because she was too diligent for that thought to ever occur to her. She's about to say right now, I bet. Yeah, you're right. What? That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a lie. That's a a Oh, you're so funny, Mina-chan. You're right that it's not a huge pile of work, but it is still a high level as you'd expect from Noble Academy. Hi. Three days isn't enough time. I should take it at a steady pace over winter break. Hi. You understand? Hi. Thank goodness. Hmm? That's strange. I was sure you said you understood me. Yo, that's crazy. Scary. Yeah. はじめた時点であなたに頂上へ着かないという道はございませんわ。たとえ途中で下山しようと遭難しようと私はあなたをヘリから吊るしてでも頂上へ連れて行きます。ああ、スワンラーダーウッドテイクオフマウンテンクライ
Minachan smiled sweetly. Why? Cute. Not cute. And that cuteness was terrifying. Spare me. なんか大人に<笑><笑> あ、あ、そっか。めんどくせえな。思い出したらまた<笑><笑> Hey, I'm about to break it to you. <laughs> Man, I can't wait for her to realize. What? That transition is still here? 1219? Why? Is that the day of like the current events of the uh, thing? I am so confused. Oh my gosh. Oh, but anyways, I believe, if I recall correctly, they showed at the end of the other game where Oro and Akaka were like, oh yeah, that was us back then, blah, blah, blah. I just want it to happen already. I really want to see Ayaka's reaction. It's going to be great. Mm -hmm. What? No. No. Oh. Uh, no more. I've had enough of the whip. <laughs> it was a dream. Christ. I was starting to wonder that myself. What in the world happened? More specifically, what happened to my sleep schedule? No calisthenics. Oh, God. What are you talking about? Sorry. Sleepy. I don't done it yesterday and my mind was still in a bit of a haze. Ah. To be honest, that was exhausting. Yep. I finally got my head working. It was a winter, so that final deep breath in particular was super effective at waking me up. You guys do these radio calisthenics over winter break too. Huh. By the looks of it, it was optional. Neither Reina nor Rhea showed up, for that matter. I wasn't obligated to take part, but as a guy, it was difficult for me to turn down their invitation. I think it'd be pretty easy to turn down the invitation. Mm hmm People are going home, after all. I took a look, then gave her a firm nod in agreement. It sounded like rich girls ran back home the second their vacation started. The families may have asked them too, and I'm sure some of them have their own unique circumstances. Nobles, nobles, sure had it rough. By the way, what about you, Akane-chan? Why would you assume that dirtier girl, eh? Mm. <laughs> More so than her schedule. Her phrasing worried me. A dilemma? Your parents? Is something going on? Hmm. Huh. Akuna-chan's expression was gloomy. Or was it some kind of illness? Or maybe there's some sort of accident? 
実は夏に商店街のくじ引きで当てた旅行券の期限が今月の16日までだったとかで2人で15日からハワイなんですコングラッツ2人にはおめでとうだけど。私はめでたくないですよ。We've got class on the 15th, so there's not much you could have done about it anyway. うーん。当てたのはお盆だったんだから、その場で即決してれば、夏休みの後半で3人で行けたのに。Who would thought your parents were dying or something? あかね、こういうのはちゃんと準備をしてからの方がいい。そうよ、あかねちゃん。なかなかないことなんだから。<笑> You're good at mimicking. <笑>悩んでるうちに夏が過ぎちゃってお正月に行くぞって話をしてたんだけど期限に気づいたのがつい最近で<笑>ハワイなんていつでも行けるんだからパパッと行っちゃえばよかったのにですよね先輩 No, you really can't just visit whenever そうかなうちは毎年お正月はハワイの別荘で過ごすから近くのキャンプ場くらいの感覚ですね先輩 Sounds like rich girl talking to me And we're all broke here はははいはい。You can add that to the growing list of differences between novels and commoners 別荘いいなお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父さんにお父にお父さんにお父さんにお父こっちに残るのもそれはそれで楽しそうです最後の方は二人だけになっちゃうかもだけどラジオ体操頑張りましょうね先輩 Sure Sound like the whole parents in Hawaii dilemma was going to have just as harsh an outcome for me Why? What happened to our parents? I didn't dislike Radio Kellis then next time If it was just that Anyway. Modorimastawane. Sa, you be not to the god. Right. And here I thought last night was all a bad dream. No way. So let the nest, so let the nest, oh my god. Me not that a hidoino. All on in any cause, say to Kai, the story than you only know what there. What does you have for you, Yasmin? You hide that to die. Cockna, Cockga, or Mojidor, to be more than a canon. その分クリスマスは開けたではありませんかああそう私も日本に残りたかったカミナル様は必要所持のほとんどをあらかじめこなしておりましたのでシルビー様とは違うのですうんもうねひどいと思うわよねソーマくんそうだねはあはあこうなったら私も無理してでもクリスマス以外に日本に戻れる日にちを作ってみせるわ大晦日がいいかしらギリギリにヘリを飛ばせばヘリコプターあらい大晦日あそうですね半時ほどなら時間が作れますその後はすぐにジェット機でセーティレージに戻ることになりますがまさかその日に限って大寒波が来るとかで飛行機が飛べなくなるでもなし日本に来ることは可能かとやったー聞いた聞いたソーマくん大晦日そちらに行けるの会える時間いただけないかしらうんまあそれはいいけどさそれよりシルビー何まだ朝の6時半違う昨日教えたじゃありませんのここで等式は不等式となっているのですから以降の記号表記は Ah, <笑><笑>、uh, this makes a great thumbnail Eek! Mina Sen says private lessons were simply terrifying And they hurt ですからよろしくて公式というものは問題に当てはめ応用できてこそ意味があるのですどこが X であるかを見極めてですね Right I was being lectured by someone a year below me 
To top it all off, Minachan was solving the second your problems I couldn't make sense of like it was second nature. My pride? Ouchie! She was hellishly strict, too. Dang it, she's coming from my junior, too. Wait, since she was a year beneath me, that'd make her the same age as chicken. My junior should be more like... What? Like what? <laughs> it's 28. You're such a dummy, chicken. No, I like the... It's more entertaining when she whips you. Reality bites. That's true. She's not wrong. Women sure did come in all sorts of different types. Yes, that's right. Mina-chan could be quite harsh and may give that other woman a run for her money. Yeah, I was able to solve it after referring to the question above it. あら、あら、あら。応用の仕方は教えていませんのに。偉いです。あげろ。そう。数学は公式を覚えるのでなく、応用させるための学問なのです。よくできましたわ。that sounds fire. Yes, bring him out. This was a dictionary example of carrot and a stick. As for how many carrots, or in this case, cookies, she'd give me, well, mm hmm. Fuck? It sure does feel that way, anyway. Flopped over onto the sofa. Ah, now that winter break was upon us, everyone in the dorm began the annual clean-up session. Cleaning crew would often come in, so we're, we weren't required to participate. Or so I went. This sort of saint-like mentality was quite prevalent among such high-class women such as these. The same lot had spent the last several days cleaning and vacuuming their rooms in preparation for their return home. Overusing mechanical pencils is bound to give you tendinitis, so a good soak in cold water could be good for you. And this was how we wound up cleaning in between my studies. Minachan looked like she was having more fun cleaning than studying. Was she a maid at her core? Oh well, I preferred physical activity over using my head too. Sure. Where? My underclassmen were relying on me. Of course. Minachan was all smiles and I wasn't about to let her down. This was a man's job after all. There <laughs> was behind the vending machines in the corner of the foyer. Could you grab me a chair? Oh man. Yeah, just barely. I could reach it if I stretch, which is always a good idea. I was about to eat it, I just know. They were only squealing because I was actually tall enough to reach. Even so, a guy could really get used to this kind of attention. My underclassmen could rely on me for all sorts of stuff. I know. I wanted them to rely on me more and more. And then... Oh god. Almost like clockwork, a certain female figure appeared from the other side of the vending machine. Everyone, excluding Ria and Reina, who had skipped out, had taken part in the cleanup. 
So it was given this woman would be here too. Uh, well, I mean, I wasn't especially interested in getting in a fight with her over something so trivial, but... It would be disappointing to give this roll up now that my underclassmen were singing my praises. <laughs> I'll do it. High places are a man's job. Uh, hey. She tried to push me away and acted like nothing I said or did mattered. It's pretty dirty up here. Just let me handle it. Spicy. Blah. The way she phrased that annoyed me. Okay, take a big, deep breath. She was just trying to get a rise out of me, which meant she had no intention of standing down. Fine, I'll let you do it. My underclassmen had already returned to their individual tasks after showering me with compliments, so I was plenty satisfied. <laughs> of course. With that, I stepped off the chair. <laughs> With a nasty, nasty snort, Jogosaki picked up the job from where I left off. Despite her crappy attitude, I couldn't deny how slick that was. Even so, there was no hope for me and Jogosaki at this point. The wisest approach would be to avoid interacting with her as much as possible. Clatter. <laughs> yeah, I, of course. Oh? Jurosaki had apparently been disgusted enough with me to control herself away, and the chair she was using for support made a weird noise. Sound. It was lurching? <laughs> it was a tiny slap, but Jogosaki wriggled back and forth when it tried to go back into place. This was. Okay, gotcha. I caught her just as she was about to fall. Phew, that was a close one. She'd nearly fallen with a substantial amount of momentum. The dense heft against my shoulder and elbow told me just how much force had been behind her. <gasps> what? How do I even read this? <laughs> I somehow managed to support her, but... Mm -hmm. Uh, this isn't gonna work. <laughs> what are you doing? Well, I thought I'd successfully supported her, but we ended up falling backward. This was as shameful as it got. Oi, oi. Senpai? Uh, oh, and I somehow ended up pinned up under her. At least that protected Yogosaki. You okay, Yogosaki? I was pleased to hear she wasn't hurt. Pleased to hear she wasn't hurt. And she's not being a total jerk about it. Great. Senpai, Senpai? This makes me laugh. What a great situation to make them start talking again. I'm fine, I'm fine. My head did hurt a little bit after ramming into the chair when I fell, though. I need to see that visual. How the heck did that happen? <laughs> yeah, I guess. baby. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, I need to hear that again. She's so dumb. <laughs> nah, she's right though. It would have been way cooler. Yeah, you're right. I'll be sure to remember that for next time. Regardless, I was happy knowing Josaki avoided getting hurt. Jogosaki was seated on top of me and got up in a panicked fashion. Uh, Stop moaning. Uh, uh, no. Hmm? No. Why? <laughs> Wait! Hold on! What? Gosh, gosh, gosh. Oh, okay, okay, okay. 
Okay, I was thinking something else. <laughs> I thought, oh my god. I thought it was Ayaka's blood. Because I don't know how they felt. Maybe she like, her butt like hit him on the head or something. I don't know, bro. Red droplets fell to the ground. Okay. <laughs> my god. <laughs> Yeah. まあ、でもCTの結果異常なし、表面を切っただけで小さな傷なので縫合の必要もなし。頭が部分的にしばらく剥げるかもだけど、危険はないとさ。フュー、that's her doctor checked me over from head to toe and he luckily felt nothing wrong with me. He disinfected what I cut myself, put on some gauze, and bandaged me up. Yup, boo boo. Ow, ow, ow! Don't touch it! いいじゃん。付き添いとしてどれくらいの怪我だったかきちんと把握しないとだし。そうそう。涙目だった赤ねちに連絡しないと。はい、あら。チーズ。Click. <笑> She sent a photo of me making a peace sign to show the girls I was fine. まとりあえず大きな問題ではないと。ねえだ。怪我はしないのが一番ですが、レディをかばって名誉の負傷ですわね。本当にご迷惑をおかけしました。I got it, she said. I got it. Let me clean. Look what happens. 付き添い多すぎんだろ。部屋に入りきらねえよ。Ria had arranged for me to use the private room she often used when she came to the hospital. However, it was incredibly cramped with five people. Yeah, it's probably a bit overkill. So, oh, stay by my side? That's him right now. Oh boy. Well, rain is out. Taka,ora,帰んぞ。ここ行きつけの病院なのに、相馬さんのところは見舞いが騒がしいとか思われたら困るわ。She's right. I could head home now that the doctor had officially discharged me. あたしがいらないのはわかるけど、リアちゃんも別に付き添う必要なかったよね。when she heard I hit my head, she immediately called for a car and held my hand the whole way here. You know it. <laughs> she was worried, worried. With that, Rio called for a car and we headed back to the dorm. Love, Rio. Did you not see the selfie, Akane, or the photo? A normal bandage wouldn't really work, which is why they wrapped it up like this. The wound itself isn't even that bad. Wasn't even that bad. <laughs> Yay, no studying, no calisthenics. Hmm, we're not done cleaning up yet though. <laughs> When all was said and done, I wound up exempt from this year's cleanup. So, then, so it wasn't a total L after all. What does? Well, studies actually make his condition worse, though. Huh? It's fine, really. Is that how it works? Are you making fun of me, Minachan? I doubt something as mundane as homework would exacerbate my condition. I think. Uh, you don't have to stick around anymore, Jogasaki. Seriously, I'm fine. After everything that had happened, Jogasaki was the only one who looked bothered by it. That's not surprising, considering it was her fault. Even so, I wasn't about to complain about it when she picked up the tab at the hospital. Well, she's rich, so it's okay. We're just a commoner. We're broke. Compensate? <laughs> oh, I'm kidding. I'm not kidding. 
Uh huh. I appreciate the offer and all, but I really didn't want or need anything from her. As horrible as it was, part of me hoped that guilty conscience of hers would even out the status quo and she'd stop being such a pest. I wish I could get her to go home for the day without, with everything left as is. Mina-chan? She suddenly butted in and made a rather odd suggestion that we're going to save for the next episode. My time is just enough. Actually, not a bad idea. Why would Jogosaki want to get involved in my homework? Hell. That sounded suffocating. It sounded like it was a done deal, and Jogosaki hit it off. <laughs> I don't know. If... Okay. Forget resolved. I felt like things had gone in a terrible direction. She's not. Wrong. <laughs> yeah. Now it made sense. She based her decision of, of what Sylvie had told her, which meant she didn't know about my and Jogosaki's strained relationship. She was all smiles after that perfect pause. But as for me, what? Huh? What? Why are we saying what for? Look at that new transition. 1220. Ah, uh, I kind of like this actually. <laughs> oh, look at her animation. It looks so funny. <laughs> it's still shaking. Anyways, I was saying that I liked how they put the dates. Because it kind of gives you an idea of like, I think that could help you out with like figuring out where a certain event happened. So when you're searching for a particular, when you're searching for a particular line or event, you could find it a lot easier. Be like, okay, this happened on this day on the transitions. So I think that's pretty helpful. It's a nice little detail to add. But with that being said, I actually have to wrap it up here. <laughs> Wow, there's a lot of pages. Oh, ah, uh, a hundred pages. Who's gonna use that many? No one's gonna use that many. Ain't hey, no way. A thousand thirty. Nah, that's way too much. No way. Nobody's using that. Okay, well, that wraps up the third episode of Golden Time. Oh my God, I am enjoying this so very much, and I am very very glad. Of this common route you know because we had the whole i wait i guess oro is still telling chicken nugget about the events right if i recall correctly I, he's still telling her all of this so all of this is still not new information at least at least a lot of it wasn't to us but I feel like a lot of that new stuff... I don't know what I'm trying to say. Forget it. I really like how they're going on about this whole continuation of the common route. I, th I find it very, very interesting. And the whole thing about telling Chicken Nugget about all of it. Like, it just gets me wondering. Is is it going to be like this till the end of the common route and the other routes? Or how is it going to be? Or is it just going to be until a certain point until maybe Rio dies and then he's finally going to return to school? You know? As in, no longer telling Chicken Nugget about all of the events that happened throughout his time. If that makes sense, you probably have no idea what I'm talking about. I'm trying very hard to explain, but sometimes I struggle to formulate a thought, like, very badly. <laughs> but I'm trying my best. I'm enjoying this so far, so very much. So, so very much. It's It's been very, very fun. And I've noticed already that there's been a whole lot more attention towards Mina and Ayaka which I do like. 
And as for the others, it's like there's a balance of all the others. But there's definitely... I could see there being a lot more attention on Ayaka and Mina, which I do like. Past me would hate to hear me say this, but I'm actually starting to like Ayaka a little more, you know. Aside from the fact that I respect her because of the Rhea situation, like I'm starting to get to know her character more and all this little interactions. And like, obviously, she's still very unpleasant, right? The more time passes as I read this and the more I start to warm up towards her, if that makes sense, the more I'm starting to be more fond of her. That makes sense. I think <laughs> with that being said i'm going to wrap it up there thank you so very much for watching if you did enjoy this video please hit that like subscribe if you haven't already done so let's hit 900 subscribers and then a thousand subscribers at a thousand subscribers i don't know what i'm gonna do with life that's the big goal for me though a thousand subs let's make it happen so much please and very much thank you anyways i'll let y'all go y'all stay safe and as always until the next video